Hey, so this is going to be a, a quick tip on uh, quick properties within Navisworks. So to see quick properties, um, when you hover over an element, this the little dialog box next to, or the little box next to the arrow key uh, will have a bunch of information about that element that you're hovering over. It's really useful when you're in meetings um, or you're in a, a coordination meeting or if you're simply flying around a model, you want to hover over something, see what that is, um, you know, see the type, mark, you know, just the different information that pertains to that model or that modeled element. Uh, without having to go into the properties and then drill down into those properties and find that element. Uh, and if we open up the properties dialog box and click on one of these elements, there's a variety of different parameters we can pull from. So there's a ton of different things that we can use. Everything in here we can use as a quick property. The one that we're going to focus on is, is uh, phase. <clears throat> and we're going to... Um, uh, update the quick properties with a phase um, um, with a phase property so that we can see it within the quick properties and uh, when we update that the quick properties it is uh, applied to Navisworks now it isn't model specific so when you update this it will apply to other models as well so the first bit is actually finding where that phase um, information is there is phase created there's also, um, if we, um, jump to element, there's phase created down here as well. And so we'll just take a look at which one. Um, I think what we're going to do is actually grab phase created and then name, and then we're going to get the phase one, uh, for this particular element. So if we jump into the uh, uh, big N and then options and then um, not general interface and then quick properties. If we click on that, we'll get a couple options here. So it says show quick properties and hide category. If you wanted to turn those off, you have those options there. But if we go into definitions, that's where we'll actually find um, the properties and from here, we can start to add different ones. Uh, to add one, just click this little plus symbol. It starts us out with a new one up here. Now, what we wanted was face created and then name. And that's it. We can now click OK. And if we hover over that element, we'll get name phase one. We'll hover over this one. If we hover over this, so anything we hover over, we'll get that now, uh, that uh, um, quick property. So again, you know, this is, you know, if you have an existing and, um, you know, new construction model or existing and new construction elements uh, within your models, then you can quickly hover over the element to see if it is an existing item or if it's a new item so um you know it helps with navigation or if you're clashing against stuff you want to see what that duct is whatever the case um, and you can add as many as you want in the properties and it's only going to pull and as you probably saw when we were looking at the options and the definitions um, it's only going to pull the properties that it can find within the element so if it doesn't find it it won't show it uh, so hopefully that quick tip helps you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if I've missed anything. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.